Good morning, everyone. Is my voice is audible? Kindly confirm. We're going to start the session very soon. Uh, we are just waiting for other candidates to join. So kindly stay there. Thank you. Thanks for the confirmation, Rima and Siju in the chat box. Thank you. Good, good morning, everyone. Kindly confirm again. Unmute yourself. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Baljeet, Harnaik, Reema, Siju. Please confirm. Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to start the class. I would request you, if you would have any question, you can ask me in the mid of the session. You don't need to wait till the end of the session. I would prefer if you just uh, unmute yourself and ask me on the mic instead of a chat box because it's more convenient and interactive. I want to make this class to be very interactive. So just un unmute yourself and uh, uh, Baljeet, can you unmute yourself? Yes, sir. Okay, you are preparing for IELTS general or academic? Uh, general. Okay, and Harnaik Singh? Harnaik, unmute yourself, please. And Siju? Hi, uh, I'm preparing for general. General, okay. All right. Uh, other candidates are going to join, but we're going to start now. So if you would have any question, you can ask me anytime in between the class. So first of all, welcome to the Vineyard English. We are the first center in India having PhD English experts in our team. That means only experts will teach you during our classes. Uh, this is three day classes, demo classes we're going to conduct free of course, so that you can judge the quality of our trainers content. And you can see whether you need to join it or not. Is it right podium for you or not? So we are the first institute in India having 
LMS system. It's a learning management system. I will show you this in later slides. What is LMS system? Every class will be on the Zoom live class as we are conducting today. And every class is going to record into your LMS account. It's a learning management system where you will get your own account. So every day, whatever the class you're going to attend with the trainer will going to automatically record into your account. So after a month, if you want to review, let's suppose second day writing tips, you can do that. This account will be activated for three months minimum. If you subscribe our services even for one month, still you will get three month activation of this account where you, you can practice. We upload material over there. You can see your previous recorded sessions. You will get quality study material from us personal support from us material you will not find in normal books we will provide you the material we have a proper inbuilt software where you will do listening reading writings i will show you later in the later slides what is this you will get expert expert feedback as we have experts in our team like phd english experts mphil english experts and having a trainer having more than 10 year you know, experience certified from IDP and BC. So they give you the exact feedback which is required to get higher bands. Face-to-face -face speaking will be there every day. So we keep the speaking session mandatory in every class. So what you will get from us We will provide you 45 plus hour of live training in a month. You will get 60 plus updated recordings, recordings of yours and other recordings as well. You will find into your account. We will provide you 160 practice test. I will show you where these practice tests will be. We will provide you a dedicated mobile app, 30 hour of assignments, five full mock tests. Full mock test means every mock test will be having the same experience like uh, IELTS exam. You have to attempt this mock test in one go, in one shot. It would take three hours to attempt this one mock test. So every Saturday there will be a mock test day. Uh, on Saturday you have to attempt mock test. 20 hour of face-to-face -face speaking. Every day there will be speaking for sure and you'll get more than 20 hour of speakings. 50 bonus grammar lessons in LMS account, you will get grammar lessons as well. Let's suppose if your grammar is not that sound, if you go through these 15 grammar lessons, your grammar will be aligned and you'll get uh, good bands in writing too. The small, small mistakes we do in grammar, those will be eradicated. So this is the online structure we have built. After the enrollment, there will be a diagnostic test. As doctor diagnose the patient, we diagnose our students. So after the enrollment, we will provide you a diagnostic test. Once you will attempt it, the data will be transferred to our experts. They will assess your level where you stand right now as per the IDP and BC standards, whether your level is C1, C2, or B1, B2, whatever the standards would be there. They will analyze your level. They will check your level and then they will ask your goal and then we prepare your journey accordingly. Is everything clear till now? Yes, it's fine. Okay, thank you. So online classes, basically every class will start with tips and training and uh, like 10 to 15 minutes, tips and trainings will be delivered. For an example, if there will be listening class, the trainer will tell you how many types of question would be there, how to attempt, where to focus, where not to focus. Then the content of the class will be delivered and every class will be ended at an assignment. So you will get an assignment either in LMS account or in your WhatsApp group. So once you submit the assignment, for an example, if you get a writing task two assignment, you uh, will write down the writing task to on your notepad. You just need to click a picture and send into the group where you will be added and your trainer will be there as well. So once you will submit, our expert will review your writing or any task. They will assess it and mark you band at bands as per IDP or BC standards, provide you feedback through email or WhatsApp group, whichever is would be convenient for you. 
So this is the journey from day first to day, day 30th. After the diagnostic test from Monday till Friday, classes will be there. Speaking will be there on every day. Saturday, there will be mock test and mock test. Once you will attempt it, you will see the answers right away. You can self evaluate it. If you would have any doubt on Monday, you can discuss any of the doubt in the mock test. This is the structure we follow journey from first week till the fourth week. On Monday, we do listenings plus speaking. Tuesday, writing tasks two and speaking. Tuesday and Wednesday, both will be writing tasks. In writing tasks, our experts will not just let you know, uh, write down on this topic. No, they will teach you how to write down the introduction, how to write down body paragraph, how to write down conclusion. They will train you on each fragments, on each levels, and then they'll uh, build your level up on Thursday. Again, we have listening class plus speaking class. Speaking will be a formal speaking as you're going to face in the real exam. One to one speaking. It's it will it will not like the group speaking because otherwise it's going to be a fish market. So we are very much disciplined in our classes. So it would be one to one speaking Friday reading plus speaking, then mock test Sunday off. Every end of every class, there will be assignment here, like for reading, speaking, then assignment of reading. So you will have plenty of material in your LMS account, in your resource account, so you can prepare at your end as well. This is the learning management system. This is the LMS account, which we will provide you once you go to our website, that is vineyardenglish.com, you will see a login button. In once you click here, you will enter your username and password. You will see this type of screen here. You will find your grammar classes, 15 grammar chapters. You will see the recorded video sessions as well. The second account we providing, we're going to provide you two accounts after the enrollment. The second account you must have it right now. Uh, can you please confirm uh, Siju, you have this account because we have made account for everyone. Yeah, you, I have, I have. You have this account, right? I'll show you uh, how to use it as well. Just give me a moment, please. So this is the account you will get, uh, you, you got already in the demo sessions as well. So here, if you click on online test, you will find two panels, IELTS Academic, IELTS General. You will be able to assess these both. And here you will see the mock test one, two, three, four, five. It will take three hours to complete it. You cannot uh, attempt it in a shift. Every Saturday you need to, you have to attempt each of the mock test. This account, I will let you know, will be activated for three months after the enrollment. If you will not join after third day, it will be deactivated automatically. So if you are in journal, you need to click on journal. You will have journal mock test over here. You will have journal readings, listenings here. So if you click on the listening, you see there, there are five panels. Every panel have another five listening in it. So that means you have 25 listenings over here, 25 reading here, 25 writings here. Similarly, the same content you will attempt in the academic phase or vice versa. Nobody is going to stop you. So we recommend all student to, if you are in general, also attempt academic ones too. So you will get double practice. So apart from this, it has another challenge zone. You can do that. The, the lots of people who are currently online, you can uh, play challenges with them uh, uh, regarding vocabulary, tenses or grammar. So lots of options are there. You can see uh, the analysis of the test over here. So it's a wonderful software. So you can take advantage of it. Coming back to the presentation. Is everything clear till now about uh, the LMS account and the resource account? So basically, um, kindly confirm, Siju, is everything clear? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. thank you. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to start the writing task two. So basically the writing, IELTS writing is being assessed on the four parameters, 
task achievement and response task achievement means how much percentage of the task you're going to achieve or touch let's suppose if you left uh, some essential part of the topic you won't get the 100 band 100% bands of the task achievement response how are you going to respond to the task what wording you going to use what structure you going to use coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between each line as well as each paragraph ideally every line uh, from the very first line of the introduction till the till the last line of the conclusion the entire passage should be linked properly with the linkers and phrases and the chronological order of thoughts lexical resource means the vocabulary you going to use it should be relevant the relevancy of the vocabulary is very very important otherwise if sometime uh, what student do they use high vocabulary word which ultimately alter the meaning of the entire passage and the line so one should not use the vocabulary which uh, he or she may not be sure of grammatical range and accuracy grammatical range implies how many types of sentences you going to write it down whether it's simple compound complex or other type of sentences we recommend to use all type of sentences in the writing paragraph so you will get higher bands and accuracy is very very important generally you will be encountered with five types these any of these five type of passages opinionating essay where the examiner will ask your opinion advantage disadvantage type of essay where the examiner will ask you to describe advantages or disadvantages pros or cons discussion essay sometime you will get an essay where the examiner will ask you to discuss about the issue solution essay would be there where you need to pose some solution on the problems or direct question essays would be there are sometime you will find there will be two question in the essay in our all classes we teach our all student how to attempt how to treat these all kind of essays every essay has its own treatment unique treatment so we provide all the knowledge all the content to our students so that they can attempt all kind of essays an essay is your opinion or argument presented in an organized manner guys this is very very important it should be organized it should be presented in an organized manner an organization of thoughts should be enumerated from your essay it should have well structured four to five paragraph four to five paragraph includes introduction as well as the conclusion so ideally there should be two to three paragraph are needed it should have it should have clear introduction and conclusion it should con include real life examples will i'll let you know in the further slides how to do that so these are some journal tips we recommend to all our students be sure to understand the question first one should understand the question convert the con question into your mother tongue if you speak hindi convert the question into hindi if you speak other languages convert it into your mother language so that you completely understand the gist of the question what the examiner is asking plan your idea for the essay before you start we recommend don't just jump and start the essay you need to plan it perfectly in order to get higher bands get to know the question asked in writing task to manage your time uh, vocabulary use good vocabulary use two to three good paragraph i will tell these things in further slides so guys this is the perfect structure of higher band essay this is nine band structure if you follow this simple structure you will definitely get more than seven bands introduction only introduction has three parts background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement guys if you miss the thesis statement for an example you will not get the marks of task completion as i described earlier in the earlier slides what is task completion this is task completion if you miss any of the essential part you will not get the full bands of task completion so introduction has further three parts background information background information means you talk something about the topic in the past for an example 
in yester years in a, in in earlier years in yester years people used to wear simple clothes but due to advent of due to advent of technology globalization or modernization masses used to wear or tend to wear the sophisticated clothes clothes so pehle kya hota tha ab kya ho raha hai that is background information is it clear yes okay baljeet baljeet is it clear yes sir okay thank you ask me wherever you feel you not getting okay so background information or journal comment any of these will be acceptable journal comment means nowadays masses tend to wear sophisticated clothes owing to globalization or owing to modernization that is journal comment plus paraphrase the topic paraphrase the topic means you need to convert the topic into your own words some people believe that other opine that or some are you know not agreeing with that so you going to convert the topic into your own word that is the art of paraphrasing plus you need to add a thesis statement thesis statement implies it's a great indicator to the reader what you going to write down in further body paragraph this is an indicator i am going to discuss this essay in subsequent paragraphs that is thesis statement so reader will get to know what he or she is going to write down in body paragraph it basically links the introduction with the body paragraph now in body paragraph what happens it has been seen that student write too many points in one body paragraph like 5 to 7 body points in one body paragraph and they end up with 5 or 5.5 bands then they complain idp system and british consul system they have poor testing system no guys they have perfect system in place but student is not meeting the requirement they don't need to write down five or six point in one body paragraph one point is more than enough in one body paragraph one one point explain it well support it with the example that's it your body paragraph is ready it is very very simple so you just need two to three point to write down an essay of 250 words you don't need 10 15 points we recommend write down as you get the uh, question in your real exam first analyze what the question is asking about write down four to five good quality points on the question sheet not on the answer sheet then pick two to three good points convert these point into body paragraphs one point explain it well support it with the example that's it similarly in conclusion you need to add the gist of the essay you can paraphrase the uh, topic as well and you can also pose some threat uh, hope or some kind of danger in the and in the conclusion but it's very dangerous to add a new point in the conclusion we will not add any new point in the conclusion the entire conclusion should be between 30 to 40 words introduction should be 40 to 60 words and the entire passage should not be less than 250 words and it can vary from 250 to 280 is the ideal range now we going to discuss the uh, uh, question using the same pattern we just discuss is everything clear till now baljeet yes fine yes. okay thank yes, you sir. thank you so this is the question which came into the real exam so we going to discuss it using the same structure you should spend about 40 minutes on this task you will get 40 minutes and you need to write down at least 250 words in some countries the number of shootings increase because many people have guns at home as in india we have seen people have gun at home to what extent do you agree or disagree now this is the a type of essay agree or disagree uh, examiner is asking us give specific reasons and examples to support your answers so whether we agree or disagree we need to clarify it across the globe many individuals own guns for self defense and recreational purposes this is a journal statement guys as we discussed earlier we need to 
provide a journal statement or background information. But here we use the journal statement or journal comment. Across the globe, many individual owns guns for self-defense and recreational purpose. Gun-related mortalities in household enhances day by day by globally, day by day globally, owing to plethora of factors. Plethora of factor means bunch of factors. There are a bunch of factors which influence this uh, fact that the mortality, gun-related deaths in household enhances. Day by day, bird rahi hai gun ke related jo deaths hai. And there are a couple of factors which influence. So we justify our point here. Let us discuss that why a person is at far greater risk being shot if there is a gun at home in subsequent paragraphs. So guys, this is the thesis statement. Thesis statement basically link the paragraph introduction with the body paragraph. It basically indicate the reader what we're going to write it down in further paragraph. Let us discuss. This line se clear ho jata hai ki Hum kya discuss karne wale hai in upcoming paragraphs. Why a person is at far greater risk? A person a greater risk pe kyu hai agar uske ghar pe gun hai? If there is a gun at home. So we're going to discuss in subsequent paragraph. To begin with, this is a connector. We can use another connectors as well. There are lots of connector uh, to initiate, to start with, to begin with. First and for, foremost, firstly, so these are the connector. Basically, this connector link the introduction with the body paragraph. As I said, there should be a perfect linkage between lines as well as paragraphs. So we need to take care of these things in order to get higher bands. To begin with, it is intuitively obvious that having a gun in a household endanger children and teenagers. It is obvious that this is risky for the children and teenagers. So this is the point we made. One point, we just add this point. It is obvious that having a gun in a household and dangers, danger for children and teenagers. Now the elaboration start from this point. This is because minor do not have the requisite knowledge or maturity to handle guns safely. So we justified our one point we justified our point and elaborated it why we write it down. This is because minor do not have the required knowledge or maturity to handle it. Again, saath mein humne example de di. One point, elaboration, example. For example, the US Department of Justice recently revealed, isne bataya hai, statistic bata rahe hai, showing that 150 American children and teenagers die each year because of accident related to household gun. Ki 150 teenagers every year they die because of such accident. They don't have requisite knowledge. They don't know how to handle guns. So if, if the guns will be there, they play with it and by chance or you know, unfortunately, they die every year. Therefore, it is incontrovertible that household gun lead to additional shooting. Again, we emphasized our point, supported our point. So guys, this is the structure which we teach in our classrooms, ki how to get higher bands. If you follow this kind of stru structure, definitely you'll get more than seven bands. This is the requirement of IDP and BC IELTS standards. Additionally, see the second paragraph start with the connector as well. Basically, it connects the first paragraph with the second paragraph. So you can write down another connector as well. There are lots of connector. Uh, additionally, furthermore, moreover, besides household guns becomes especially dangerous when spouse have violent arguments. So guys, this is the second point we made. See, we made one point in the first paragraph, mein elaborate, kiya, give example, that's it. So second paragraph, same, we'll do the same thing. One point, household guns become especially dangerous when spouse have violent arguments. Now the elaboration start from here. This is because due to male chauvinism. Male chauvinism is male dominating society. In many villages in India or still India, male chauvinism exist 
male dominating society is there. In particular, it often result into deadly aggressions. For example, the International Crime Bureau recently produced statistical evidence that if there is a household gun, a man is twice as likely if he discover his wife having an affair to kill her in a fit of jealous rage. कि वो husband है वो wife को chances ज़्यादा है कि वो उसको मार दे if he find his wife having some illegitimate affairs or having some trouble outside. So there are more chances he will shoot her or dead her with a shoot. Therefore, once again, household guns correlate positively with additional shooting. Again, this line uh, further reinforce our point. As we write down one point, elaboration, example, then again we reinforce our point. In conclusion, there is undeniable evidence that having a gun, having a gun in house, lead to further shooting. Again, हमने अपना point फिर reinforce कर दिया कि there is undoubtedly if the gun will be there in the house, it will lead to further shooting. Given the strength of strengthen of this evidence, in future. More legislation needs to be put in place to limit private gun ownership. So, we have given a suggestion at the end that in future, to limit this problem, government should take some extra steps or build some laws in order to limitize the private gun ownership. So, same in conclusion, we can we need to add the gist of the essay. We can re rephrase the topic, or we can put some. Threat, danger, hope, or suggestions as well. So, guys, this is the structure we follow in our classrooms every day, so that you will learn this structure, you will use this structure in the real exam, and you will get the higher bands. This is very simple, uh, without confusion. If you just you just need to write down one, develop two to three points, convert them into three paragraphs, two to three paragraphs. That's it. Any question, guys? After this, we will start with the speaking session. Manish, Su Siju. Yeah, this is fine for me. Yeah, oh, I understand the structure and uh, how Thank it you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Manish Mittal, do you have any question? No. No, sir. Okay, right. Uh, Reema, ma'am, do you have any question? Okay, I think no question. So we'll start with the speaking session. As I said, every day we will have speaking for sure, so that your speaking speaking will be enhanced before the test. After a month, you will feel you know enormous changes in your speaking patterns, because we find that speaking and writing are the pain area for the student. So, as we are research scholars, we did PhD in different domains. We have a team of PhD research scholars. So we research on IELTS a lot and develop this structure so that the online learning will be easy for the students. So speaking will be integrated in the everyday class. So now I will ask one by one to speak you on the topic. Okay, I would like uh, Siju, please unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, in in IELTS exam, in IELTS exam, basically the speaking will be from 12 to 14 minutes. There will be three sections. First one will be the general question section, where the examiner will ask you question about generic things, journal things. Then there will be Q card section. Q card section. In that section, you will be given one minute to prepare for the topic, and then you need to speak at least two to three minutes on the topic. After that, the question sessions will be there. The third session, uh, examiner will ask you question about the cue card. Right? Today we going to I'm going to ask you direct questions. So you will uh, talk. Uh, you you can speak two to three sentences on a single okay. question. Okay. So talk about a dinner you had with a friend. It's been since a uh, long time. Uh, I had a uh, I had a dinner with my friend because of due to COVID uh, for last uh, four five months, uh, I didn't got a chance to meet uh, 
any friends uh, uh, because I was at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I still remember um, last time I had, I, I think, I think it was before COVID. Uh, um, uh, one of my friends invited me for a dinner at um, at a um, uh, at a five star hotel uh, in Chennai, and uh, it it was a family dinner uh, uh, because of uh, my friend's wedding anniversary day, and we went with uh, my family and uh, we reached there. It was uh, it was for a evening dinner. And uh, we reached uh, at hotel uh, around at 7.30 and uh, um, uh, we met them. And uh, it, was, uh, it was surprising for us that uh, um, they arranged a, a very um, perfect dinner for us. And uh, mm -hmm. when we saw the dinner, uh, it was very surprising for me. Um, actually, there was a welcome drink and uh, then there are um, many dishes like uh, uh, veg and non-veg. And uh, um, then we, um, we sat together there and they also invited actually their family, friends and uh, their close relatives. So they introduced us uh, to, uh, to them. And uh, then uh, we had a good time with a lot of dishes and it was very uh, delicious and uh, a good evening Great. for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Siju. Um, I would uh, recommend you, you, you perfectly cover it, but some, uh, you know, uh, breakage was there. But what we suggest in our classes, use the power of imagination. Okay, okay. What is the power of imagination? For an example, if you living in a small village, for an example, an examiner will ask you to describe your village, okay. right? You might have some things to talk about village. But if you describe Toronto and just name your village, you will have, you will have abundant of material. You have plethora of material to talk about, okay. right? So if let's suppose you're living in a small town in normal village, you can say, I live in, uh, my village is Ludhiana and, uh, it is situated in the mid of hills and it is world globally renowned for the shopping centers. We have a beautiful lake on the Southern side where people, love to visit every evening and we have uh, multifarious uh, buildings we have skyscrapers people love to visit our city and purchase a uh, plethora of uh, uh, shopping material so in this way you will have you will have plenty of material you need to use the power of imagination so you can use add on like that yeah. yes you don't need to i mean describe the exact event because okay. sometimes we feel lack of words, okay. alienation of words, right? So you can make the conversation more spicy. You can add as many as good content or, uh, you know, things in it because the examiner is not going to check the facts. He or she just going to check the flow conversation, how you present it, grammatical structure and uh, how you tackle the question. You got my point? Yeah. yeah, so our idea is to make the conversation more relevant to the point and more spicy. So the listener or the examiner will feel, yes, yeah, he, he or she is you know, describing the wonderful, wonderfully. So now Manish Mittal. Manish, can you unmute yourself? Uh, Manish, you Try to speak. If you... Your voice is not audible. Okay, if, if you're not uh, uh, fine, I mean, it's your first day. Sometime we feel hesitation. Uh, sir, now I am busy. Okay, 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 thank you. Okay, Rima. Uh, Rima, I'm kindly unmute yourself. Uh, talk about change that you can improve your local area. You want to improve in your local area. Yeah. 
I think so. Connectivity errors. Um, Manish, it's fine. Okay, Siju, sir, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah please. Um, okay, I would like you to talk on, talk about a time you enjoyed yourself in a group. Yeah, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, uh, a time which I enjoyed uh, six uh, months back. Uh, it, was a, it was a picnic uh, from my, uh, my friend's group. Like, actually, we, we have a group uh, in WhatsApp like for our, uh, our degree, uh, mm -hmm. uh, our degree group, like deep on group. And uh, it was a get together which we had uh, six months back. And uh, we we went for a trip uh, uh, to to Munar in Kerala, and uh, it was uh, mm -hmm. it was an invitation to all our uh, all our classmates uh, which we studied in in Bico. And out of uh, sixty people, around uh, almost uh, almost forty five people uh, had a get together at Munar. It was uh, it was arranged by our mm -hmm. group admin and. Uh, uh, they arranged it in a very uh, beautiful place in Monar, and it was a very good resort mm -hmm. uh, they arranged. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, we have uh, we we all gathered there uh, on a on a Friday weekend evening, okay. and it was a two days trip uh, which was arranged. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a lot of um, sightseeing and a lot of games and a lot of plans they have done. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, when we reached there on Friday, uh, till we were um, meeting uh, each other after after 15 to uh, 18 years. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was a very fun,ful and it was a very exciting uh, day for uh, each and everyone. And uh, um, on the first day, we um, uh, on, on the first day on Friday, we had a, had a campfire and uh, a lot of fun games, and uh, it was a very exciting day. And on the second day, actually, we went for a um, we went for a sightseeing on the hills, you know, hill stations, mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, a lot of other places uh, mm -hmm. uh, in Munda. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, it was very um, that two days was uh, very remarkable and mm -hmm. very enjoyable day for each and every one. Mm -hmm. We plan to have actually some more trips uh, at, um, in the near future. Great, great, sir perfectly covered the entire topic and uh, yeah sentence structure was perfect uh, we just need to add up little more you know activities or charm yeah, to yeah, the yeah, topic yeah, we can, yeah, no, and uh, our our basically uh, sir our approach is first to introduce a topic yeah cover the essential four five points mm -hmm. conclude the topic as soon as possible, then you yeah. can talk thousand things about the topic. Okay. This is the technique to attempt it because examiner can stop you at any point in the middle of the conversation. If you within two minutes, if you maybe examiner will stop you at one minute, 20 seconds, right? So at that point, if you will not conclude the to topic, so it, it, you won't get the marks of task completion. We will, we will teach you in the classes in the, during cue card sessions. So in cue card, the technique is first quickly introduce the topic, cover the two, three essential points, conclude it, then talk about even thousand words about it. Okay. So, so you're saying that we need to make a summary in the beginning and then we can talk about uh, in detail. Yeah. I mean, uh, for an, if you, if we talk about a long drive, we can say that like long drives, uh, you know, I love long drives and it's, it's, uh, it suits my mind. And I often go to long drive like once a month. And uh, then you describe where you go, what you do there. Then you can conclude, you can conclude it like long drives, you know, it and fill a charm in the life. Uh, in the nutshell, I can say it, it fills the charm in the life or it, it's an a, adventurous activity. Then you can talk about long drive. I mean, okay. so you just played your part. You, you know, open, uh, you pitch the topic, you talk about the topic, and then you cover the topic. That's it. Then you, you know, you can talk the other fluences about the topic. Okay. 
Right. So, uh, Siju sir, today we have a small group. I mean, only two to three people in the group. Often we have uh, 10, 10 to 12 people. Then the speaking, you know, becomes more interesting because yeah. it, it's, it's one to one speaking. We explore ideas, too many things because this is a three day session, uh, you know, three day uh, demo session. Some take it lightly and they don't join or some people forget, I guess. Uh, but not an issue. We'll again connect it tomorrow. So again, tomorrow, the class will be at the same time at 11 yeah. o'clock. If you have any question, I'm open to answers. Let me know if you have. Fine, any... as of now, as of now. Right. The... Right, sir. Yeah. Thank you the so much. <laughs> the writing was good. Yeah. So th this is the quality we are going to find every day in, in our all classes. Are all experts having you know a wonderful knowledge you won't find in the normal centers anywhere. So we have researched intensively on aisle structure, how to get higher bands. So for a one month course, as you said, it is for 45 hours, means uh, how it is divided. Uh, Sorry? As you said, it is going to be a 45 hours course, 45 hours course right? Uh, yes, sometimes sometime you will get uh, speakings extra. Uh, oh, okay. Three days we will provide speaking. Let's suppose you subscribe for one month only, right? And then after one month, you prepare self prepare yourself because your account will be activated for three months, right? So let's suppose if you book your exam on the second or third month before speaking, we will provide you three free classes of speaking so that you will, you know, get practice adequate practice before the real IELTS exam. So it's, we feel responsible till the student get his or her bands. It's not like that we charge money and we won't ask you again. You can contact us any point of time, even whether you are still act having active services with us or not. You can call us as a friend. Or you can ask if you have any question. You, we, we will be there always till your exam will be done. You will get your bands. May I know how will the course be? Saying yeah. Today or on? Uh, we will discuss on okay. the phone. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. So should we wrap up? Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank you so much for your time, Siju and Rima. Have a wonderful day. And see you tomorrow, sir. I'll I'll get back to you on the call. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.